Today we're talking about the new Netflix holiday film, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. So let's get started. Decades after his apprentice portrays him, a once joyful toy maker finds new hope when his bright young granddaughter appears on his doorstep. Welcome back everybody to my channel. If you guys love to watch movies like I do, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey is a new Netflix holiday film which stars Forrest Whitaker. We also have Keegan-Michael Key in the movie. Ricky Martin voices a character within this movie. And Forrest Whitaker plays a toy maker who a long time ago, his apprentice betrayed him, stole all of his ideas, made him his own, and made a lot of money and became a very popular toy maker. Well, Forrest Whitaker's career really kind of went down the drain after that and had no ambition and no desire to create these toys. And after his wife had passed away, he kind of just lost all hope and was not able to take care of his daughter, and she left and... Now she has a daughter of her own, and so she, and so this young granddaughter shows up at her grandfather's doorsteps and kind of sparks that ambition and his ideas once more. This is a film that is beautiful to look at. The costume designs, the set designs, the dance number sequences, all of it looks really good. This film is beautiful to look at. I was really impressed with the kind of steampunk style of costume designs, the set designs, and the musical numbers, and the dance sequences. All of it was really impressive. I loved how there was a lot of attention to detail to the costume designs, and everybody felt like they had a unique outfit. The musical numbers had a lot of effort into it. These are some original songs by John Legend. And all of the songs are really, really catchy and add a lot to the characters. And there's a lot of effort into creating these dance sequences, especially with Geek and Michael Key. Everybody does a really great job in providing um, a dance number or a musical number as well. The set design I thought was really impressive. I liked how it looked, but it did feel very closed off. Like it wasn't exploring a lot of this small town. It seemed like it was a stage design for this location, but nonetheless, I do think that the set design for this looked great. So looking at this film and the musical numbers and the dance sequences, all of it was really great. We have the story of Geronicus Jangle, played by Forrest Whitaker. He is betrayed by his apprentice, who grows up to be Keegan-Michael Key. And there's that story of him trying to create these toys once again for children. We also have the story of his granddaughter coming to live with him. We also have the story of him and the bank. And there's a lot of things that are happening within the movie. And at times it can feel like it's not focused on one thing. I definitely thought the storyline between Geronicus Jangle and his apprentice Gustafson was probably one of the weaker aspects of the movie. It started off the movie and you could tell that there was something there within it. But as the movie progressed, it focused a lot more on other side stories rather than Geronicus and Gustafson. And Kiko, Mike, and Key was a lot within the movie. And I really liked everybody's performance, especially Keegan Michael Key. I don't have any problems with any of the performances. I don't think that the story for both of them was as strong as it could be. Because of the way that the story did start, it seemed like that was going to be the biggest aspect of the story. But really, the biggest aspect of the story is Journey, the granddaughter of Geronicus, and her having this ambition, and she is great at developing... She is great at creating these toys, just like her grandfather and her mother was as well. So watching her become her own character 
was probably one of the highlights of the film. There is some really great musical numbers about being a mathematician and there's a square root song. I think it all plays really well and it's really unique, some of the choices for some of the songs, but I really like Journey as a character and watching her grow throughout the film and develop this relationship with her grandfather was one of the sweeter parts of the movie. Forrest Whitaker, when we are first introduced to the older version of the character, because we do get a younger version of the character in the beginning of the movie, he's really closed off. You could tell that he has spent a lot of his life just alone, isolated, and really letting those moments of his past get to him. And he's really not accepting the fact that his granddaughter is there with him. And so, it ha so he really has to open up throughout the film. And Journey does bring out those moments of him enjoying life and developing this relationship and creating toys once again. So watching him kind of open up and change throughout the film was another part of the movie that I really did enjoy. Ricky Martin voices one of the characters in here. He plays Don Juan Diego, this little toy that moves and talks and has emotions and he's like the villain within the movie and that was all really impressive that this toy maker was able to create this and when Keegan-Michael Key took all of the ideas he took that toy with him and that was like something that could have been a top seller and this little toy that moved like a human talked like a human had emotions it probably sell like crazy the toy that the granddaughter and the grandfather were trying to create throughout the movie didn't seem like it was as amazing as that one figure, just besides maybe a couple things that could change about this Buddy 3000 figure that Journey and her grandfather were working on. It's supposed to be the one toy that they created that would put them back on the map and everything would change for them. I thought it was just as equal as that little human figure that they created besides the fact that this buddy 3000 could fly that was the only thing that really changed about it so i had a hard time believing that this toy that they were creating was going to be the one thing that was going to save them all he already did something in the past that was as equally as good I feel like I'm just a little nitpicking here and there about some of the things within the story, but Jingle Jangle was a really good film. I enjoyed a lot of the musical numbers. The songs were very catchy. The costume designs looked great. The set designs looked good, despite it feeling very closed off. I loved the performances from Forrest Whitaker and Keegan-Michael Key. Rick Key. Ricky Martin did a great job voicing this character. The young actress who played Journey was great in the movie. There's a lot of things that just came together to make this a fun Christmas movie. There are some narrative issues and some things I just really didn't agree upon, but nonetheless, I do think it was a highly entertaining Christmas movie. I'm going to go ahead and give Jingle Jangle A Christmas Journey a B. Thank you guys for checking my review for Jingle Jangle A Christmas Story. Have you guys seen it? What do you think? But let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming videos. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.